learning objective to practice essential newborn care emc health provider will need to understand the basic sequence of steps to ensure appropriate care at the time of birth and during postnatal period newborn deaths account for a major proportion of deaths which occur within the first year of life however most of these deaths are preventable essential newborn care is a key component of skill attendance bnc comprises care for all newborn at the time of birth and during postnatal period the key components of essential newborn care include warmth immediate breathing breastfeeding infection prevention and check for danger signs sequence of essential newborn care preparation for birth first 60 minutes of birth immediate newborn care 60 minutes to 6 hours of birth early newborn care 6 hours to 48 hours of birth care prior to discharge and care at discharge preparation for birth in shaw warm and drought free delivery room a radiant warmer that has been switched on two clean warm towels hand washing wearing sterilized gloves a sterilized delivery kit functional bag and mask and be prepared to manage babies with birth asphyxia and a low birth weight or preterm ensure warmth in the labor room prevent any type of heat loss close the door and windows switch off the fans ensure the labor room's temperature is in the range of 26 to 28 degrees celsius switch on the radiant warmer at least 30 minutes before the delivery place two clean towels under radiant warmer hand washing remove watch bangles and rings roll up the sleeves wet hands and forearms with running water apply soap to make lather wash hands in a sequence palms fingers and web spaces for 20 seconds back of hands 10 seconds each hand fingers and knuckles 10 seconds each hand thumbs 10 seconds each fingertip 10 seconds each hand wrists and forearm 10 seconds each hand wearing sterilized gloves use left hand to pick up right glove at the bottom fold and insert right hand use left hand to pull up right glove without touching outside of the glove delivery kit ensure high level disinfected delivery kit comprising cord clamp or tie and scissors two towels cap and socks for the newborn mucus extractor bag and mask check functionality of the bag and mask in three steps fit mask onto the bag check that the bag reinflates quickly after squeezing deliver test breathes against the palm feel the pressure on the palm ensure availability of vitamin k and neonatal vaccines first 60 minutes immediate newborn care include call out time of birth rule out meconium if there is meconium and baby is not crying perform suction before drying deliver the baby on the mother's abdomen check for breathing and start to dry the baby remove the wet towel ensure a skin to skin contact and cover the baby with a dry and warm towel ensure cord cutting within 1 to 3 minutes of birth 
rule out major malformations and birth injury. Support the mother to initiate breastfeeding and place the identity tag on the baby. We are prepared to welcome the new life with apt care and deliver the baby on mother's abdomen. Call out the time of birth. 11.45 Thoroughly dry the baby and remove the wet towel. If baby is breathing well, place the newborn for skin-to-skin -skin contact. Cord clamp or tie. After the cord has stopped pulsating, place two ties or clamps tightly around the cord at 2 cm and 5 cm from the umbilicus. Cut the cord between the tie. Skin-to-skin -skin contact is natural warmth for the baby. Keep the baby V in prone position on the bare chest of mother. Head should be between the breasts and slightly turn to one side. Place a cap covering the head and have the mother gently hold the baby in place. Cover the baby with a dry cloth. Then put a blanket to cover the baby and the mother. Monitor the baby lying in skin-to-skin -skin contact with the mother while the placenta is being delivered. Ask the mother to support the baby. When the newborn shows feeding cues like opening of mouth, tonguing, licking, rooting, then encourage the mother to breastfeed. 60 minutes to 6 hours. Early newborn care. Wash hands before handling the baby. Ensure the wing scale is functioning and calibrated. Take the weight of the baby and record it. Administer injection vitamin K intramuscularly. 1 mg. Examine the baby thoroughly for vital signs and rule out any danger signs. Vaccinate the baby with BCG, OPV0 and Hepatitis B, birth dose. Practice rooming in with the mother. This provides baby warmth, promotes breastfeeding bonding and prevents infections. Adjust the calibration before weighing the baby. Record the weight. If the newborn is low birth weight and stress-free, promote kangaroo mother care to ensure warmth. Thoroughly examine the baby. Once the weighing is done, start the routine examination. Check for danger signs and take action if needed. Rule out congenital malformations and birth injuries cleft palate or lip, spina bifida. Give intramuscular injection of vitamin K. Also give oral polio vaccine, BCG and hepatitis B. 6 hours to 48 hours of birth. Care prior to discharge. Continue to monitor the newborn for the breathing, temperature, cord stump, eyes, skin and rule out danger signs. Health provider should ensure successful establishment of breastfeeding and rule out any feeding difficulty. Counsel the mother for exclusive breastfeeding and continue to keep the baby warm. Reinforce and counsel the mother on exclusive breastfeeding, danger signs, family planning and hygiene. Ensure that the mother is able to recognize danger signs in her baby and is able to repeat and mention them to the health provider before she leaves the health facility. Remember, do not suction unless the mouth or nose is blocked. Do not separate the newborn from the mother. Do not place the newborn on a cold or wet surface. Do not wipe off vernix. Do not bathe newborn till discharge. Do not feed anything except breast milk. Do not discharge if the baby is not feeding well. Key messages. Ensure the delivery area is draft free and temperature is 26 to 28 degrees Celsius Ensure colostrum is fed to the newborn. Ensure the newborn and mother are checked for danger signs. 
counsel the mother for exclusive breastfeeding, danger signs, family planning and hygiene at the time of discharge. Right care is my dignity. Dignity is my right.